Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back, my people. Back with my brother, Luke. What's going on, guys? Everyone good? He's made the picks. So, yes, cuz. Let's go. Tell him why we picked these ones. So, this is murder. This is crisis. So, these are the two females that I've picked out the litter. I've picked pretty much by outgoing confidence drive. So, murder was the very first pick for me. She was always the one first at the gate. She's always the one that's got something in her mouth, carrying the ball around, ragging the squirrel, like the little fluffy squirrel that we've got for them. It's just a non-stop going at it all the time and whenever she there was something going on. She seemed to be at the centre yeah. of it. She just she just stood out. She's been really confident, really outgoing. And this little one, Crisis, is not far off. So she's obviously going to the kingdom, yes, which I'm yes, buzzing yes. about. I'm glad. And she's pretty much the same. It's been these two girls that have really run the whole litter, to be fair with you. So what, what do you reckon is like the first sort of steps to take with her when I take her home to meet the dogs and stuff like that? So what we say here, Maverick K9, so me and Meg, what we tell all our customers, if you're getting a new puppy or new dog the first thing that everyone wants to always get away out is introducing it to the new dogs let's see how it gets on so for me neutrality is really important i don't like dogs interacting with each other too much i like yep. them being around each other but nice and level-headed so once the dogs or the puppies are going past the other dogs and it's not just not, crazy yeah, yeah, all yeah. the time that's the time when i then slowly introduce them on the lead mm -hmm. especially if you've got bigger dogs they are only so what, small sh wait, who should i put on the lead crisis or should i put my no, other the dogs? Bigger dogs so the put the bigger dogs not so bigger Put a slip lead or nasty. yeah, just a slip yeah. lead will do anything, even on a flat collar. It's not really to control them, it's just yeah. to really if they get a bit too boisterous and Pop stuff because they are only small the pups. If you've got a young and energetic pup and you've got a dog that's a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more grumpy, it's also down to you as an mm -hmm. owner to protect to, yeah. the yeah, older yeah. dog and yeah, yeah, to control yeah. the situation because again, having multiple dogs, you are always gonna have at some point most people are gonna have a situation regardless of yeah. what it is. When you've got one or more dogs in the house and if you're integrating them correctly it's all good in general that is mostly what happens when they're cute the puppies are all sound the dogs mature and then by the time they want to do stuff it's not too late but now you're undoing habits yeah and if you can paint your picture on a blank canvas yeah. instead of trying Brand to paint, paint over oh. someone else yeah you could do you could do well so would that that's not going to affect her going out and doing her sports and stuff like that no 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 like so, i said i'm yeah. hoping these lots should all be pretty neutral to yeah. dogs anyway because both parents are so are these related to like all sort of terrier? Yeah, it's terrier okay. as a group, isn't it? Like what does a breed sort of stand for, like the terrier breeds? The terrier's tenacity, you know, okay. hard working. So more of a, are tenacity, they more of like a working, yeah, working yeah, yeah. line? Yeah, it's a working group, the terrier mm -hmm. group for sure. Yeah, yeah. Most dog breeds are working breeds. Okay. Going over the last few years yeah. that we've started okay. creating toy breeds mm -hmm. and breeds that are not... Like work compatible? Yeah, the show world has shaped it a bit. Yeah. So do they have um, Patadels in shows or these yeah, more yeah, straight yeah. working these, lines? Um, these lot, we're going to take these to some terrier shows as so, well. So what was that? Is that like stand, like yeah, confirmation? Confirmation shows and stuff like that. If you've got a, a, a worker and yeah. let's say a, champ, a show yeah, champion, yeah, yeah. would that be the yeah. ultimate? I think at the terrier shows, it's not like it is at Crufts. Okay. I think they will look at things a little a bit, bit different. different. A lot of them want like firm back legs for the okay. work and stuff yeah, like yeah, solid yeah, yeah. muscles. So it's more judging on lines. this yeah. getting ready to go out and work. Yeah, for me, I would rather have an ugly working dog, a good ugly working yeah, dog, yeah, than yeah. have then a pretty show, show dog, dog yeah. that doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, However, yeah. if you are a normal pet person, you would what want is the point in going out and getting, getting a working, working breed? If yeah. you're not, it's just going to end bad for you and end mm -hmm. bad for the dog. So, so do you think people like should look into more where they're getting the dogs from and what they've been bred for? If you're breeding Reading for drive, you yeah. need to make sure that the customers that are taking these dogs are, are using the, the drive. drive. And yep. not just having a drivey so dog is, because is that where you think, let's say, is... outbreaks of bites and fear stuff and all sorts of things start to occur now is when people match up. I don't feel like it's up. the drive. I feel like the drive yeah. is not what's causing the bites. The yeah. bites is getting caused by one nervy dog being bred to another, another, another nervy and dog. Then so gene weak genetics. Weak, weak, weak genetics, genetics and not being planted. You see it in all walks of dogs, mate. Labradors, retrievers, like, let's just be honest, they are, yeah. they are a working breed. Yeah. So when you see them, just being oh, a just... pet because the I think that's borderline so, so, animal So was Labradors, was Labradors bred for working? Retriever, hunting okay, dog, yeah. Yes. Retrievers, Labradors go out, retrieve ducks, retrieve pheasants, they're fantastic dogs. Now listen, everybody, that's, that's, that's it, some knowledge from Luke. Make sure you lot follow Maverick Canine as well. We're gonna be doing a lot of close work with Maverick. And yeah, man, let's enjoy these puppies, bruv. Let's go.
Look at it, yes. That little one's Yo, off its tip, Look mate. at that one there. So is this just like introducing them to the yeah. mouse, yeah? Yeah. And everyone, this is a, fo a frozen Ford rat, yeah? So this is nothing like, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? But this is for the education of these dogs. Now feel that, feel that grip. You see that for young pups? Who, who is that? What pups are they? Uh, yeah, I think that's yours. And where's, where's Murder? Fast asleep there, I think. What, this murder here? Yeah. Yes, murder. Okay, let's try and get that. Yes. Oh, 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 Go on, get in tight! <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. When I do the feeding, I always start it with a bang. <laughs> yeah, see the reaction. The first time I did that, they all scattered, mate. Yeah, they just all they went all wondered, yeah, what the hell what was the going hell on. What was that? But now, loud noise just means, see, like, even this little one now, just getting off. Let me get a little piece, guys. Let me get a little piece. <laughs> so I'm with Meg, the other side of Maverick K9. So Meg, give them a little explanation about the sort of training stuff that you offer, residentials and bits and pieces, yeah. and then show us what Mav, a bit of work what Mav can do. I'm Meg. We do a lot of residential courses. So we do four week courses, six week courses, and eight week courses. So obedience, behavioural, and protection. We do a lot of group classes in the Midlands and Northwest, bite work, okay. obedience. So anything. is that the Northwest of England? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And West Midlands West, down. Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Meg's, yeah. Meg's travelling for the... Getting active, we're active. What's going on, you all right? <laughs> yes, yes. My brothers. <laughs> so, yes, man. So, what, you're training up towards the PSA and stuff yeah, as well, so yeah? Yeah, me and Mav are doing our PDC in spring, I think yeah. it is, and also hoping to do our PSA 1. That's what we're working towards anyway. Okay. So. She's got Mav out with her anyway, so she's going to give us a little demonstration on what her dog can do. And make sure you look contact Meg, <laughs> contact Luke for the training, man. Down! Pretty, stay. Stay. Tall. Sit. Pretty. <laughs> Tall. <laughs> Out. Middle. Watch it. Watch it. Watch. Watch. Watch it. Get it. Good boy. <laughs> Find him. <laughs> Mav! Yes, down. Watch. Down. Yes. Down! Go back. Down. Stand. Sit. Not good. Down. Close. Good boy. Close, close, close. Yeah. Legs. Yes, yes, everybody. I come down, I checked on the puppy crisis. Follow my G Maverick there. Contact us if you need any training, home visits again, one-to-ones, residential. In January, we are gonna be doing a really, really good offer, half price offer all the courses. So if you're after a cheap, high quality resi, get in contact with us, okay? Or contact Get in contact, man. let's go. Let's go.